Hello guys, Deb here with Art and Grace. Come on in. Let me know that you're here and watching. I am excited to do our second round of Kids Camp. So these are fun, whimsical paintings meant for kids, but anybody can paint them. This is last week's. We did the fun dolphin, <coughs> excuse me, and uh, of course I did show you how you could do a gray one so make these your own if you're watching and you don't have kids or grandkids and you just want to paint along and have fun then do that um, it's not just for kids I'm just I know that a lot of you guys have kids at home this summer and this gives you some easy fun things to do with them to kill some time and get them creative hello Vicki how are you today um, hi Cheryl listen I don't have my iPad in here so I apologize I'm not gonna get to answer your comments <laughs> right now but I will the minute that I'm done hi Chris hi Sandra hi Lori hi Phyllis hi Brookie I'm so glad y'all are here hi Sydney help me get this out there so that we can get more friends painting with us but I'm gonna show you some you know just what I'm starting with is just a plain flat brush you want it to have a nice clean edge that'll be our background I'm going to use a round brush for the majority of the painting and it is a number six and then a detail brush any detail brush will work this one has a pretty short bristles and that should work really good for what we're doing hi Melissa hi Vicki you guys keep coming in I'm glad you're here good yes I'm doing good I'm worn out but uh, thank you Chris for sprinkling the paint Hi, Tanya. Hi, Leanne. I hope I said hi to everybody. Um, I'm worn out from the Alzheimer's event and working on that, but it's a good worn out. You know, it's always such a, whew, a huge blessing to see that thing, you know, working and people working together. So I'm, I'm really excited about it. And that happens tomorrow. So you'll want to plan on being here as much as you can um, I would love to have you guys when I'm live in the morning at 9 but we have friends all day long until 9 p.m. tomorrow night Dina will close us out at 9 and uh, so you know every 30 minutes we've got somebody that's going to be going live and at the end of their 30 minutes they will be auctioning what they make so it's going to be a ton of fun it's going to have you know everything's going to go super fast because you know 30 minutes doesn't take long so basically if you if you're not there you're gonna miss it so come join the fun you can get into the creatives for Alzheimer's group page um, to see all of the events we're also going to be streamed on craft around the clock which is really great too I'm going into this Bahama blue and white with my flat brush getting both on the brush at the same time and we're gonna I've already put my sealer my pre sealer on my wood I use the multi-purpose sealer if I'm going to paint on wood and um, otherwise you, you can obviously skip that step if you're not painting on wood but I like to have some of these paintings that I do that are more special and I can frame them and so that's what my plan is for these is to get them in frames and have a little display because we're going to have four at the end of all this we've got we've done the dolphin and this one and we've got two more so we're going to have some real cute paintings at the end now this is your background which is a sky so you can do you know any colors that you ha <clears throat> have on hand you can just take a blue any blue mix it with white to get a pretty background for the sky and go from there so it can be a royal you know a regular royal blue kind of color it doesn't have to be the Bahama blue that I'm using you never have to go out and buy paint just use what you have and make it work I am going to do my edges although if I frame it they won't need to be done but it just helps me to feel like it's a little more finished having paint on the edges and you know in case you don't get it into a frame you can hang it just attach something to hang it and then your edges are already done so we're going to go ahead and do them it doesn't hurt 
Hi, Sandy. I'm having to look up here at my phone that I've got that I'm filming with. I left my iPad in the other room and hit the live button before I realized. A lot of times I will pull that up right as I'm saying hi to y'all. So I hit the live and looked over and goes, oh no, it's not in here. <laughs> so it'll be okay. I will definitely want y'all to chit chat, ask me questions or comments or anything. You can ask about anything and I will answer when I'm done here. But just getting a nice smooth background for our sky. And I'm, I'm wanting all of mine to coordinate so I'm using colors that coordinate uh, with each other. But you know, again, you use any colors that you want. These are fun, happy colors. But you know, if you wanted to paint a giraffe and make it more, you know, uh, lifelike, then use your your tans, your browns, a little bit of yellow, orange, you know, things like that. We went to the zoo in May to see the new baby elephant that was born, and it was so cute. There was also a really young gorilla that was so fun. I just love the baby animals. I love all animals, but the babies are so sweet. And while I don't like seeing them in captivity, I mean, you know, it is really a great way to learn and, you know, lots of schools come through and, and educate kids. And so it's really fun to see. I got my nails painted purple, guys. It's not my typical nail color for sure, but I'm sporting the Alzheimer's look today. I am having an auction tonight and I would love for you guys to come. I will make a post about it because I can't even remember the time off the top of my head. I did put a time, um, but now I, I've, I've gone blank and I can't remember because I've talked to several people about it and tried to coordinate. So now I'm confused on my time. But anyway, I think it's, it's either five or seven and I believe it's seven, but don't quote me. I'll make a post. And when you guys see a post of mine, even if you could care less, if you could just put a heart or a comment, that would help me so much with the algorithm. So those kind of things really do help us so they don't just sit there and nobody sees it. Let's see. Oh, good. You're looking forward to tomorrow. I'm glad, Tanya and RJ. Good afternoon. Who else is here? Hi, Marcia. Sorry, I'm not seeing everybody. You guys, I just have to kind of glance up. But I will go back. I promise. Got to see who is here. I love seeing who is here and commenting and all the things. Okay. We got a nice background. I'm going to dry this a little bit. And then we are going to do a few clouds. But I'm going to take a paper towel. And if you will just clean off your brush in there squeeze that paint out into your paper towel then your water doesn't get as murky because if you're like me it's such a hassle to you need clean water for white and things and your water is all murky so that will help you okay let's see what you guys are saying beautiful color thank you I can't wait. I've been looking forward to tomorrow <laughs> for months. Thank you for sprinkling, Sandy. I appreciate it. And Vicki. Hi, Andrea. Are you painting today? I know you're, you've got your hands full. You probably aren't. How is Bubba doing today? Marcia, I use Deco Art. I've used this for years. It's my favorite because it's very pigmented for craft paint. This is, you know, very inexpensive student paint, but it's actually, in my opinion, one of the best. So that's what I use. I use it so much and I love it so much. And I was mentioning it so much that I asked them if I could be an affiliate. So I am an affiliate for them, although I'm the worst because I never think to give you all the code. They gave me a code to give you for 20% off of one purchase so that's not you know that's good and everything but um
what I end up doing is running to Michael's when they have it on sale and getting it there. So I'm not, you know, telling you, I mean, I, I just, I tell you what I do and what works for me and, uh, but I'm happy to give that coupon to y'all. So I'll remember to put that, I'll put that in the um, post or something. Okay. So we've got our background. I want to do some clouds and because this is wood actually, now that I'm looking at it, this is going to be uh, some trees down here. So I think I am going to put just another little bit of paint. Since I'm using wood, I'm looking for my white. It is a little, it could use a little, a little more color right there. So let me just throw that on real fast. It won't take but a second. Kind of lighten it up with that white. But a lot of times I can get away with one coat. Now two coats, two thin coats is usually what is recommended and looks the best. So don't put it too thick and that way you can go over it a second time when it dries and that gives you great coverage. And you are ready for the next step. So does anybody have grandkids or kids that painted our dolphin last week? Because I want to see those if they did. It's always just so much fun to see our kids and grandkids get, you know, involved in being creative. So many, um, you know, are tempted to just sit on the phone or the computer all day. And so if you can get them creating, then they're using a different part of their brain that is very important. Okay, that's perfect. Okay, now let me try that. And I'll read some comments. Oh, thanks, Vicki. Thank you for the stars. You love the purple nails. Uh, let's see. Hi, Tana. He's in a lot of pain. I'm so sorry. Oh, bless him. I know they don't like to give us pain meds, and sometimes it, it's just a necessity, you know? So, you may have to just let them really know. Your Arteza paints, let me see are really thick. Is it better to water down on the plate or just use a wet brush? We'll definitely use a wet brush and spritz them with some uh, distilled water is what I use in a spray bottle like this. Just spray a few spritzes. If you water them down too much they will it'll change the pigment and the opacity of them so I just kind of spritz them if I need that. I never need to with mine but I have that handy for like chalk paint or something. A garage sale! Oh! Hi Patty! Good afternoon to everybody. Glad y'all are here. Okay. Oh goodness. Let me be careful with that hot heat gun. These things get just fire hot. You really have to be careful. Honestly, don't recommend them unless you're a, you know, full-time crafter because if a child touched one of these, they would probably have to go to the hospital. They get so hot. Okay, so let's get moving. We're going to go ahead and put down our, our um, giraffe. And of course, this is a large size, so the tracer I made you guys will fit an 8 by 10. Um, I don't see the carbon that I pulled out. I had a nice brand new piece of carbon. What did I do with it? Anyway, um, so the 8 by 10 is what will print, but you can always enlarge it or reduce it. Well, I'll just get another one. And if you have carbon paper, you can lay it down with the shiny side against your canvas and then put your tracer on top. I'm going to line up, uh, you know, as best I can with the top here. And then we will just go over. And for me, I just need to kind of hit some of the highlights. I had a hard time drawing the face shape because I kept getting it 
irregular so tracers do help it's definitely a crutch I mean I can obviously draw it but um, they do help so that you can make it really nice and and even or whatever and then that's really all I need to do I think maybe get those eyes right spacing and everything we'll go ahead and do like the nose nostrils and I gave him a funny mouth cute teeth in there okay there we go now he just makes me smile looking at him he's funny looking I like that you guys are gonna have to holler at me if I don't have this centered for you but I'm gonna try real hard not to touch it now I want to do some clouds so I'm gonna get well we've got enough I'm gonna use my round brush and these are easy clouds so you can just take your round brush or whatever brush you've got handy I'm offloading a lot of it so I put paint on there and I'm kind of working it in but then I'm moving it around the palette so that gets a lot of the paint off and I'm gonna start by just making a line and then kind of building up from there I don't want a solid white I just kind of want to build up like this just a light light touch so hold it back away so that you don't have a good grip on it like a pencil and then just kind of build it up like so and then we'll do it again over here I like kind of a line for my base and then just tap 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 kind of building up so you really it's almost like a little triangle in a way you've got the line and then you take a maybe a point and then just kind of work up in between those areas and before you know it you've got a fluffy little cloud this is just a super easy way to make a cloud and you can put hints of clouds anywhere you want if you have uh, kids and grandkids that don't even live by you you're welcome to take that tracer that I give you and send it to them you know it's a PDF so you can email it to them or whatever and let them paint it and then tell them to show you or color they don't have to paint I remember I wish I didn't do this but when my kids were little a lot of times I didn't want them to paint because they're messy right and so I would just get out the colors and I regret that now because let them be messy y'all we have them for such a short time time goes so fast that who cares if we have to clean up after them you know so I do regret not letting them paint every time they wanted to okay so we've got some little fluffy clouds can y'all see those okay let me see oh thank you Janice love oh I missed it I don't know sorry um anyway I hope that you guys are having a great Friday and and this always helps my mood I hope it does yours I hope that you know kind of coming in here and taking a little break is a nice reprise for you and you know you just kind of reset and go okay now I can go finish the work I was doing but it's fun to come in and take a load off and okay so there we go we've got our clouds now let's paint some leaves and that will be kind of a fun way that you can see he's going to be popping out of the of the bushes or hedge or whatever you want to call it you can do this a lot of different ways if you want to make trees you can you know I'm just doing some kind of I guess bushes is what I'm picturing here um, so we're taking that round brush and we're loading it up back and forth to get that paint loaded in and that way you can do more strokes before you have to reload so just get it all worked in <coughs> going back and forth and then once you've got it we're going to do our first layer of uh, little leaves and so just one two three four now you can 
do a leaf like this so one two just kind of like a little football or you can just do this you know where they're going all different ways and they're not perfect they're not the perfect little leaf shape so <clears throat> whatever you guys want to do works just fine We'll just do some of each so that you guys can see and that will help you know which way you want to do it. For kids, I think that letting them make these imperfect shapes is great. So just show them how to do back and forth and turn their wrist each time. So one this way, one that way, one this way, one, that, you know, and that way they look more like little leaves. but you can definitely come in here and make some <clears throat> in the football shape if you want to. So once we've got, you know, as many as we want and you can cover it completely or let some of the sky show through back there, then I'm gonna come with my lighter color. So I just used a Kelly Green, it's called Holly Green. And I'm gonna come in with this lime color, Sour Apple and not clean my brush I'm just going to tap on that sour apple and kind of go right on top without <clears throat> I'm not <clears throat> excuse me let me take a sip of water I'm not worried about coming right on top of what I just did I'm just tapping down anywhere in here so it doesn't have to take any thought or effort you're just tapping again right on top of what you just did. Going different ways. Now, I'm gonna look at the comments when I'm done with this green part. So if you have a question that needs to be answered right now, now's the time to ask it or a comment or anything. Just go ahead and type it and I'm gonna look at this in just a second. Okay, just, you know, this is really personal preference, how much you want and, and that kind of thing. But I like that look. Now, let's see. <clears throat> Granddaughters age 10 and 12 are always in your car. Oh, I love that. <laughs> yes, exactly. That's the thing. Let them clean up. Show them how to clean up properly. Oh, she's, oh, how cute. Oh, that's cute. You always have one of those, right, Lori? Our kids and our grandkids are never exactly the same, and we always have one neat, one messy, one funny, one serious, you know, whatever. Oh, Sydney, I loved, um, is it his or her? I don't remember if he told me, um, Dolphin, that was so cute. Yeah, right, Sandy? <laughs> You know, as grandparents, it's like, we learned those things. That's just silly that we didn't have more patience. His, okay. And let them do all the things because it's true. I think parents know a lot more today. So much more is said and education's out there. Because I see posts that say we only have them for 18 summers, if we're lucky. So, don't sweat the small stuff. And you know, for a lot of us, it's even, 18 is, it's not even a full 18 because they get jobs, they get girlfriends and all that, boyfriends and, and you know, you don't have them for that long. Okay, so guess what color we're doing our giraffe today? Let me see if y'all give me a good guess or have you seen my paints? They may be invisible or they may be visible there. They're unique in their own ways, absolutely. Yes, Joanne. We want to give them lots of opportunities. Thank y'all for the stars. I'll go back and thank each one. I'm sorry. I don't know exactly who gave what, but I will thank you because I appreciate that. We're using purple. That's right, Tina. Yes, ma'am. We're doing purple for Alzheimer's because why not have a purple giraffe? I think it's so fun and it will coordinate. This is last week's painting. If you didn't do it, there is a tracer for this one too. And of course the tutorial. So just go to my website, artgracepaint.com, 
to get the tracer and it's got a link straight to the tutorial um, so I am kind of letting our colors coordinate but you can do yours in any colors you like so all we're going to do is load up our brush with this pretty wisteria another deco art color I am going to get out a little bit of our darker color I don't really need that much but and right now all I need to do is go back over you know my lines cover those up like so such a pretty color I love it I've really grown to love purple Our, we're doing fantastic as a group on our Alzheimer's goal. I'm not doing fantastic on my goal, but I did set it pretty high because I expect a lot out of myself. <laughs> and I've worked as hard as I can, but I still am not going to make that goal unless a miracle happens. But that's okay because as long as we make our overall goal, then I'm so happy and grateful. Um, and I probably was too hopeful on my own personal goal. I can calm it down next year. Okay, so I'm doing kind of the, the outlying areas first. Now I'm going to do that wisteria, but I'm going to take just a little bit of that dark purple on the edge of my brush. Not a lot. I can tap off a little. And I'm going to kind of go along just with that little bit of purple. Um, and that will kind of give us a little bit of line against what we just did. I, I, I can use a little more like so. I just didn't want to get too much. But that will help to show where those areas end. And this part, I just like it to be kind of furry because that's what it, it's like bumpy right there with kind of fur on it. So just let that, let your brush kind of tap, tap, tap and make it kind of stick up. Same with this. That will kind of stick up on the ends of that too. And then we can just kind of finish painting in this area. Going around the lips. If your kids, grandkids, need to go to a smaller brush, they can. Now, I'm kind of going over the eyebrows lightly. Just as long as I can see where they need to be is really all we need to do. I think it's really cool that, um, so I'm teaching mostly you guys. I haven't seen kids, you know, watching this. But the cool thing is, then you can go teach them. So you learn this, and then you can teach them when you have them. And how fun. They're like, wow, Grandma knows how to paint really good. Or... What kind of things did you guys do with your kids or grandkids like creatively so let me know I always love knowing and I also love whenever I ask about you know who helped you to be creative I mean so many times it wasn't mom it was grandma so let me know that too it could be a big sister it could be a, a grandmother an aunt maybe it was your mom that's really awesome I'm just going to get this color down for the whole face and then we'll do some things over it. But this is a good undercoating for what we're going to do. Okay. Now these, these guys are kind of furry, remember, so you can have it textured looking. It doesn't need to be all smooth. Now I'm going to do the neck as well. 
taking that little bit of darker color to go right under his neck or right under his face which will help us have that separation this wisteria is one of my favorite colors it's really a pretty pretty purple lots of pink in it so I guess that's why I like it so much I'm going to look at my comments again right after I get this this uh, neck done. So if you have something you're wanting me to see or question, good time to type it. Again, I'm painting on wood. This is just a wood panel, an 8x10 wood panel. You can get these at Michael's, Amazon, or any craft or art store. Okay, let me see what you guys are saying. You have missed lives. Well, Carrie, you have a good reason. You took watercolors. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, Lori, what a sweet thing to do. Of course they loved it. Oh my gosh, that would make my day. Oh, I love that, Chris. Well, glad you're here, Carrie. You know, oh, they would, Marcy. I hadn't even thought of that. That would be super cute, especially this one. This would be a really cute one to do in a large size, like really large, wouldn't it? Just blow up your tracer there's ways to do that online your granddaughter says she poured a little water from the fresh oh how cute oh that is so cute yes i love that i love that nerd oh thanks christy thank you for sprinkling hi marie glad you're here oh yes we are praying for the weather um I don't know who said that. I saw somebody say they were praying for you. So, absolutely, lots of, this is the time, isn't it? You know, the lots of storms happening. And now I'm going to clean up a little bit. So, let me just go across. But I'm going to turn it. You can always turn your canvas how you need to. Turn this and kind of cover that line a little bit. Okay. All right. We're going to do some fun stuff. Let's start the base for our eyes. I don't think anything looks as cute until you get their eyes done. And this will be a little process. So uh, we're going to do it in steps for the eyes. I'm going to take some of the darker, it's a desert turquoise color so darker than the Bahama blue and the first thing I'm going to do actually gray is the first thing I'm going to do I'm going to take some white with a tiny bit of black and make a little gray and we're going to put that in the corners of the eyes closest to the outside not the inside so just put some of that down in fact you can pretty much do you know that whole triangle if you want to um, you know from the outside like that if that helps and makes it easier just do that triangle like so and leave the inside because we're going to put white on the inside so just a regular white on this inside corner and mine does have a little gray on it because I didn't wash my brush so that's totally fine it doesn't have to be stark white so I know that looks funny but bear with me you'll see it'll it'll be cute it'll be cute I don't really have to wait for that to dry uh, if I'm careful but if you're 
helping a child do it, let them have them wait till it dries. That will be a little easier for them. So, but once it dries for them and you're ready to show them the next step, we're going to do a little bit of a circle with our turquoise. So come in here and just do like a circle or part of a circle. I'm just really doing this part on the white like so. Now we're going to let that sit and we're going to go to our next steps before doing anything else on that. The next thing I'm going to do is put out a little dot of pink. Just a little. And mix that with some white to get a light pink. Or if you may have a light pink, I just grabbed this one. But I want a lighter pink. And we're going to do some lips and around the nostril. So I'm going to come in here with this pink and just kind of cover up that line of the nostril. Like so. And we're just doing the outside. And then we're going to do uh, this bottom lip. So and it comes like this and around. It's a wonky shape on purpose. We want this guy to look wonky, right? And not serious. Okay. I'm going to grab a little wisteria and fill that in right there. Now, <clears throat> on this part right above his uh, or below his nostrils we're going to do some pink so I'm going to take some white with some more pink and get a real light pink I don't want it super dark so a pale pink will work best maybe a little darker I'm going to go back to that round brush and tap that on because technically that is part of his snout or you know top of his nose so we're going to tap on some pink on here kind of coming up let that purple show a little but just tap on that pink on top and then we're going to bring it up and up like so. Okay. So just feather it on there. So see how it's a little lighter than our nostril pink? Just a little more pale. And I'm also going to brush a little bit on our, I don't know what these are, horns. I don't know what, what you call them. If somebody knows the proper name, you can type it. I'm going to brush some there. We're going to brush a little bit on the tops of the ears, like kind of the inside, but, but top. We're going to put a little darker on this bottom part. Oh, the more I look at this, the more I think I really want to see this in a huge size. I think it would be so cute up on a wall of a child's room or nursery. That is a great idea. Okay, just brush it on to where, to where you like the look of it. Um, this is dry brushing because I, my brush isn't really wet. I'm just taking that paint and kind of adding it, just kind of brushing it on dry. If you get too much, you can always go back with your wisteria and put some of that. So let's just take a little wisteria and brush that on. I love the textured look, so dry brushing will really give you that since he is made of fur 
we can, this is just wisteria that I'm brushing on here. Okay. And then we're going to use our brush for a little line. Um, I'm going to try to just get this on the tip. So take some of that purple on the tip. I'm going to mix a little wisteria with it because that is really dark. That's a huge contrast. So if I mix a little wisteria, that tones it down a little bit. And we're going to kind of give this guy a little bit of a line. Actually, you have a tracer. I'm, I'm not using that part of the tracer. But on your tracer, the line is on there. So I'm just kind of add mine back in. So like that. So let me show you. <clears throat> your tracer has that line. If you want to, you know, trace every single bit of it on, you can. And then I'm going to take that same color, that darker color for some eyebrows. And that I'm probably not going to, I don't think I'm going to, you know, uh, weaken it at all. I'm just going to do some pretty furry eyebrows. Just tapping it on there. You're just using the end of your brush and just tapping it down. Like so. And you can go crazy. If you want really wild eyebrows, go for it. You know, just put more. Like adding some right now like that. What do y'all think? Do you like the eyebrows? It looks amazing. Thank you. Looks amazing. Can't see. Oh, good, Sandra. Thank you, Carol. Good morning, Jeannie. Jeannie's one of our Alzheimer's creators. Can't wait to see what she does tomorrow. Uh, it is so bad, Levada. People really don't need to be outside, or if they are, they have got to be drinking. Hi, Monica. Grands are coming today. Yay, Sue. Oh, my goodness. I hope you'll show us what they do. Uh, okay, I think I caught up a, for the most part. Thank you, Evelina. You guys, oh, I appreciate you so much. You have to trust the process because we are not done. We got lots to go. So I'm going to take that same darker purple. Again, it is, I'm using dioxazine purple. And we're going to put some fur with this color in between the nostrils. So just kind of use the end of that brush to kind of brush some on. However much you want is fine. And then we're going to also take the same thing where we did with the, the light pink up in here. We're going to do that with this darker purple. And we're going to come up here and just put some swipes in that. So just swipes. Like so. We're going to take that color and we're going to put it down here at the bottom of our ears. I'm just swiping, you know, with letting the brush do the work. If you've got a good round brush, that's what you'll that's what you'll use. And I don't mean good expensive, just a, you know, not one that's worn out. It needs to be able to do what it's intended to do. Now let's give him some character with uh, his his giraffe spots. We're going to go all down the neck. I'm just using that round brush to make the, you're just pressing down, press and then lift at the end and that's it. Press. Sort of like we did for our trees. Okay. And then let's give him some purple up here too. So swap, swap, swap. These are just basically little hairs. I'm going to kind of br dry brush. So let me get some of this off so it's a little bit drier brush. And then you can just scratch it on there. You know, just kind of scratch, scratch, scratch to give him some color up here. Like so. If you think he needs any down here, just brush it on. You know, this is very subjective. So you can put more or you can put less. I just look at it as I do it and just think, well, I think he needs a little bit more. I'm going to go ahead and give him a couple more little dots up here. Like so. Okay. 
let's do his mouth that is always fun uh, we may go back over these spots but for now I'm gonna let them dry I'm gonna take a detailed brush this one is not look what do you see how it's splitting let me see I hope y'all can see that see how that brush is splitting on me that tells me I need to replace it because I'm not going to get, let me show you, I'm not going to get what I want with that brush anymore because for one thing it's way too thick and see how it's splitting? So when you see your brushes do that, um, you're going to have to replace them unless you want to really work on them. This is a pretty cheap brush I've had a long time so I probably just need to order a new set but you can go in there and really clean it well and um, I just use a little bit of Dawn dishwashing liquid and, and some warm water, not super hot. Really hot water or boiling water will melt the glue that holds the bristles in here in the ferrule. So that's not recommended. If you do use boiling water, you want to just put down the bristles. You don't want it to cover this whole metal part. So that's why I say it's kind of a hassle to clean them really well just have a good detail brush and take care of it that's the best thing to do I'm just gonna grab a new one here I'm gonna use my black to go in between this little guy's teeth so instead of having a total total black I'm gonna add just a dot of white and kind of calm it down a little so it's more of a you know maybe a charcoal color and we're going to come in here with a small brush and just go in between those teeth that we made now if you're letting kids do this part it will be a little tough because this is a small space so be sure they do have a small brush to do this or um, just make sure that they know it does not have to be perfect that's the main thing is you will know if your child or grandchild has those perfection tendencies because they'll get very frustrated if they don't stay in the lines and you tell them you know miss deb doesn't stay in the lines she likes it to be a little messy and that's fun to be a little messy so nobody's perfect and it's a good reminder to tell them nobody's perfect you know you can look at anyone's teeth and you'll see imperfections and so we're not going to worry about having perfect teeth but I'm just going to come over those little teeth with the white like so and take a little wisteria and be sure that I come all the way down to that mouth right in here like so we're also going to take that black and put it in the nostrils like so His, his mouth cracks me up. Okay, let's see. A little leaf or two hanging out of his mouth would be cute. That's a good idea. Oh, thanks, Marie. Yes, it takes a little bit, but it comes together. Thank you, guys. I'm glad y'all enjoyed this. Let's do some eyeballs. So I'm going to take that black, straight black this time for the eye, and do some round eyeballs. I want, see how I did that blue? I want that blue to show. So I'm going to do my round eyeball, but let some of that blue show like so. Okay. 
while that is drying a little bit, I'm going to come back in here and add a little more of my Wisteria dry brush. So I'm going to put it onto my brush and then wipe a lot of it off so that I can just kind of dry brush some on. So see how much you can get off by just wiping it back onto your palette. I want to calm this down up in here. I feel like it's too dark. So I'm just going over it with that dry brush and some Wisteria and kind of calming that down. And again, personal preference. You know, you might have liked it the other way. But I'm going to just settle that down a little bit. Just taking a little bit more of that pale pink and kind of brushing on now that we've got our darker color. Acrylic paint does great with layers. So you can just kind of look at it, see what you think it needs, go back, add it. If you do too much, that's okay. You just put back in what you took away. You know, it's just really fun to play around with it. Okay, I do want to put another uh, layer on top of what we did here. So I'm going to just start and kind of go over. I can see I got a little blue in that, but that's okay. Go over. spots or her it can be whichever you want it to be I think I say he for everything wisteria at the top too so let me do that dry brush a little more on here and calm that down oh okay I like that better you know that just just for my personal preference now you do yours how you like kind of calms that down. That also helps his or her eyebrows to kind of stand out more too. So we've got that pretty, um, you know, turquoise color around the eye. And I'm going to just be sure you can see it. So I'm going to kind of come here and add just a little. And then I'm going to put a little bit in his eye. So I'm going to just kind of dry brush a little bit like so. See that? Just kind of add it in. And then I'll also do a little white dot in there. And then a speck. Adorable, good, Joanne. I'm so glad you like it. Yay, Andrea. I'm glad y'all like it. Thank you, Sandra. Okay. Well, it's super easy, but yet super fun. I think every time I do a painting, I think, oh, that would be a cute card. You know, maybe if somebody's having a baby, even, you want to paint something like that or paint it on a card. I mean, how much more personal would that be? You can go back and go over things you've done like the pink lips add a little bit more if you think it needs it like that. I'm going to brush a little bit on kind of on this top like it's part of the lip here just feather it up into that other and then kind of let that mesh together Oh, the teeth are so cute. I 
his little wonky teeth. I am going to put a little more charcoal into that mouth, so just a black, little black and white to get kind of a charcoal-y color. I don't want that mouth to be just completely black, so let's just brush a little bit of, you know, here and there. Basically giving him highlights in there is all you're doing. Now, if you want to uh, do a kind of a line, like an outline around him, you can. I don't really know that I want that. I'm thinking. I hadn't thought about outlining, so let me think while I do his eye, finish his eye, or hers. But I'm going to come in here with my small brush. You can, you know, maybe give a kid a toothpick if you don't have a detail brush for him or something. And we're going to just outline in that kind of diamond shape. To give that shape back to the eye. Just making it fun. And then we're going to give a few uh, wisps for some eyelashes. So I start kind of at that corner and just kind of come out like that. Just You can do as many as you want. Now she looks like a girl with all that. What do y'all think? I think that I might outline with some of that purple. So let me get some fresh purple. And we'll do some whimsical outline is what I call it. So instead of going, you know, around the whole entire thing, I'm just going to go like, whoop. You know, kind of like that. So it outlines it without a real harsh outline. Here and there. That was a lot. Okay. Now we can put something in his mouth. What do y'all think? Y'all let me know if you think it would be cute with, um, you know, with a little greenery sticking out of his mouth. Very cute giraffe. Thank you, Vicki. She's more girly now. <laughs> Thank you, Lorena. Hi, Lisa. Yes, whimsical. That's my word. Maybe a flower. I'm trying to picture if we had, sometimes, let me tell y'all what you can do. If you're thinking like, does it need this or that? So take, let me try to grab my scissors. Take something that you have and just cut and play around. So let's just show you what I'm talking about. So I would do this. If I if I've already paint if I if I'm this point in the painting and I don't know if I want it, but I want to just test it, I might have like that. And I'll just kind of blur my eyes and think, okay, so there's like a, a stick or a branch with a leaf on it, you know, is that gonna be cute or is that gonna take away? Um, and that way you can say, well what if I cut it shorter? But doing that rather than just going for it sometimes is better. You know, it could have like kind of coming out sideways but that lets you kind of get a feel for if you're going to like it before you commit you can also do um you know a little flower shape and 
you know, picture, maybe a flower on the end of that. So that is a little tip for, needs a yellow flower, put a daisy in her mouth. Love her eyelash. Oh, thank you. <laughs> a daisy. Leaves, daisy. So yes, y'all like that? Okay, let's do a daisy. So we will do white. I'm going to get out some yellow. A little banner with all summers on it. Oh, that would be sweet. Okay. So our branch will be green. We know that what it's the stem would be green. I'm not sure how much to put coming out of our mouth. I'm gonna go for it. And we can always add. I'm trying to go in between her teeth so it's like in her mouth we'll do a little yellow center do we want like a yellow so a daisy is white do we want a yellow flower or white with a yellow center or do we not care and we're going to do yellow let's, let's tell me what y'all think Are you there? Yellow or white flower? I think yellow. White with yellow center. That I can do that. Just want to make sure we don't want we don't think yellow would be cuter. Oh no, now we've got one of each. White daisy, yellow center. White with yellow center. Okay, that's what we're doing. We're gonna do, oh my microphone fell. Hopefully that wasn't loud. We're gonna do a little white center. I mean a yellow center. And then our white petals. We can always change if we don't like it. Now, uh, hopefully that's going to mess that up. This is just a, you know, small detail brush. I'm going to make my center a little larger, too. Whoop! I got yellow on that one. That was cute. That's cute. I like the, the flower in the mouth. Aww. That was cute. What do y'all think? Hi, Tony. You like the flower? Okay, good. Now, I'm going to go across that stem with that light green and give it a little highlight so you can see it better. even inside if I can get in between those teeth. So it kind of 
kind of stands out. Like so. You hold that up. A purple giraffe with attitude. <laughs> Good, I'm glad y'all like the flower. That was a cute touch. Oh, yay. Thank y'all. Do you see anything I don't see? <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. I was trying to hold that in. Um, I really don't. Other than signing it, you know. Um, Y'all let me know if you see something. You can always make the uh, clouds darker if you want to. Kind of. Thank you. <laughs> The eyelashes are fun. The eyelashes are fun. I like her blue in her eyes. I think she's a girl now that I see all the eyelashes. Y'all are too sweet. Thank y'all for being here. I hope you enjoy this. The tracer's on my website, artgracepaint.com. The tracer for last week, our dolphin, is on there as well. So grab those so that you have them handy when your kids or grandkids are near. Or send them to them. And I appreciate you guys being here. I really appreciate you sprinkling it out so more people can find it because that's what it's all about is getting people creative, getting them painting, getting their grandkids and kids painting, all of the things. So thank you guys. I really appreciate you. Next week, I believe, is a tree frog. I've got a tree frog and a um, unicorn tree frog and unicorn so you guys be sure and tune in next week as well thank you guys i appreciate every one of you have a good day oh i'll see you later tonight i'm doing an impromptu auction so i really hope y'all will come and do the same about spreading it out because the more people there the more people that can bid and i want to pump up my number for the all summers events so you guys, be sure and get that out there for me. That would be fantastic. And you guys have a good day. I'll see you later tonight. Bye, guys.